let's see how the Bugs 5W goes. Now I've got a wind coming from behind me at about 3 miles per hour and gusting up to about 4.5 miles per hour. So we'll see how it handles the windy conditions too. Okay, so firstly turn the radio control transmitter on, so I'll hold down the red button here, turn it on, and release. And then we need to power on the quadcopter, lock the battery and put it in a level position as quickly as possible, so that it can settle down. Okay, radio controller gave two beeps and the LED's gone solid, which means it's bound. Let's see if we connect to Wi-Fi. Connecting to the bugs. Okay, it's connected. open the app, choose Bugs 5W, and go. The next. Saying aircraft is connected, but I can't see FPV. So let's calibrate. So we turn anti-clockwise three times. One, two, and three. And then with the camera facing up, we turn vertically clockwise three times or until the lights go solid. Okay, and that the light solid. I'm going to go click for next and we connected, got FPV. Uh, picking up 15 satellites, which is good. And start video with a long press here. And we can see it's recording onto the SD card. I'm flashing here, so that's video going. Start the motors. That's motors started. Start the clock. And press auto takeoff. Okay, so it's going to rise up now to one and a half meters. Now let's just see if it's going to stay steady and doesn't do a bowling effect or a toilet bowl effect. Make sure the GPS is locked on, okay. All seems fine. Get a look here. Now we can adjust the camera by moving this little slider here. So it moves it down a bit. All right, let's take it up and across. Let's have a look, we're at a height of 14 meters. Okay, we're at a height of 20 meters. Take it forward. Okay, I can still see the lights, which is good. Put the 
little bit higher. Area 30 meters. Forward here. Okay, the APB is frozen, unfortunately. Got APB back yet? I have forward a bit more. Okay, unfortunately the FTV is freezing a bit. Okay, saying aircraft not connected. a bit more. Okay, got a nice view of the reservoir there. Take it forward a bit more. that well whole tip over there Going okay and really well now. There go. The FPV not responding well. We're moving very fast. Get back here, away from the sun. Okay, it looks quite nice up there now. Really moves well. Around here. Take it back up this way into the sun a bit more. Take the FPV back, looking good. Still holding altitude nicely at 35 meters. Pull the camera up again. Oh, sorry, that's down. I can put in the reservoir quite nicely there. You can see how steady it holds. Still got the wind coming and gusting. Seems to be holding quite well. going 6 minutes 45 seconds so we should still have quite a lot of time left down a bit here 
here. Really looks nice. You can see the LED is nice and bright. Let's have a look here. Turn the camera down to me. Okay, now I'm going to try the orbit or circle mode in the app. Okay, press yes to start. And now it's orbiting and circling. I should have taken a bigger radius. But that really circles and orbits quite well and carries on until we stop. Give it to circle once more. Press stop and that's it out of circle mode. Okay, follow me. Got to keep the mobile phone 5 to 35 meters away from the aircraft. We're going to follow. Let's try it again. myself into the picture here a bit better. Try following me again. Okay, let's try and go. See what happens. Well, there's turning. Trying to follow. Yes, so it really does quite well. Holding well. Go back up here. Still following, which is good. So uh, yes, the follow me function works well too. Try the waypoint navigation. Wow, quite huge on this map here. Track. And go. Standing steady there for now. Click on submit. A point. All right, nothing happening with that. Go back onto the track here. I don't know how I'm supposed to submit this or how to make a go. I 
Alright, so our waypoint's recorded and ready to go. Tab yes to fly. So there, off it goes. Let's see, I don't know how high. Ooh, it's going quite a distance. Take it up there. Okay, I'm going to press return to home. Okay, it's returning to home. So I obviously set that in too much of a radius. But that's good, gives us an opportunity to test the return to home. Coming back really quickly, we've been in the air 13 minutes 20 seconds. Let's see how accurate it is, how close it's going to land here. Okay, so I'll do a little bit more testing with the waypoints and that we obviously need to get it in a much closer area and circle but i really want it to go so it does seem to work well it's just getting used to the map for it okay it's gonna land very close to where it took off from the box there and stop the clock Have I got low battery warning? No. Let's just try and take off again. Okay, do a manual takeoff here. Okay, I have got low battery warning. Let me just start the clock. We got red lights flashing. So it is low battery warning and I'm getting an alarm on the radio controller. I'm just going to take it a distance away and just let it hover around there and then let's see what happens if the battery does get low whether it'll just descend or whether it'll try and come back to the position here quite a strong gust at the moment you can see it in the air Gusting about up to six miles per hour, but holding its position very well despite. Okay, still staying in the air, and we've been in the air 15 minutes. Video has been recording for 16 minutes, so we did land and stop for a little while. Fly it, do a little funnel, really maneuvers nicely and maneuvers well. How do I get out of these waypoints now? Oh, yeah, I can got FPV back there again. Hey, still holding, still staying in a position there at a height of 6 meters and a distance of 18 meters away. And we've been 16 minutes now and it's ascending to return home. Okay, long loud alarm. Gone up to 15 meters. Coming back above. And probably land closer to where it took off when we took off a little while ago. Still up in the air, 16 minutes 32 seconds. It's 
stop the clock. So nearly 17 minutes flying time. Let's stop recording video. Long press. Video stopped recording. So that we can save it onto the SD card. Turn the transmitter off. Unlock the battery and pull the battery out. And that is it powered off. So a really nice flight even in these gusty and windy conditions. Just a pity about the FPV freezing from time to time. Maintained altitude and position very well. Let's hope the video has come out nicely, which you'll have now seen already. The features and functions work well, just need to get a little bit used to the waypoints and how it works on the map, but I'll play around with that and do another test and another flight with that. Very good performance from a craft this size, it really moved fast, very responsive, so really good value, durable, good performing, GPS quadcopter drone.